It's warming up, folks. We got some metal records in July for you to check out. These are our most anticipated albums that are coming out this month. Starting with July 7th, Fen Monuments to Absence. On paper, I love everything about this band. When I listen to them, it kind of has to be the right one. The last album clicked with me. I'm eager to see if this one clicks. I'm sure it will. If you love bands like Falls Auroras and Agaloc, this is a band that you definitely should at least check out. So scope it. Black Braid is coming out with their sophomore album, Black Braid 2, the long-awaited follow-up to Black Braid. Definitely looking forward to another journey through the mythology of ancient people with this one. This was a really cool record when it came out. The videos were awesome, so I'm sure we're going to get some really cool music videos. I just hope that the digitalness of it is pulled back a little bit. Winter Age, Nekia, an Italian symphonic power metal band that wants to demand our attention for 49 minutes. I don't know, man, that album art alone is pretty fucking intriguing. The album art is the window to the soul of the record, and I agree, it definitely has me intrigued. Nita Strauss, The Call of the Void. Highly anticipated. Nita Strauss is, dude, like the generation's probably greatest guitar player and has wrangled a whole slew of amazing guest musicians to help round out this record. This one is probably going to be one of the best of the month. Easily. It's going to be Riff City. There's going to be catchy choruses and stuff all over it. The playing across the board, not only just on guitar, but drums too. I'm super pumped for this record. Beyond the walls, I live behind my crystal. Rotting Christ, the apocryphal spell. Can't get enough Rotting Christ? They've got you covered with this new batch of re-recorded, remastered songs and some covers to boot. It's an interesting little filler album. Rotting Christ is a cool as hell band. I'll at least scope it. Yeah. Temple of Void, the first 10. This is a compilation of tracks from Temple of Void from uh, some of their EPs and splits from their first decade. Very cool to see this band kind of dig into their back catalog, pull out some rare tracks that they can showcase that they've never, you know, released to the mess before. For a death metal, doom crossover kind of band, Temple of Void are doing some very cool stuff. And I'm glad they're smart with the marketing and dipping back into the old stuff. You know, just keeping relevant in the, in the scene. July 8th, this is the only record being released that we are aware of. Thra, forged in chaotic spew. After a few EPs under their belt, this is the debut full-length album from this blackened sludge band. Pretty curious to see how it sounds in its entirety. The single drag was is fucking awesome. Yeah, I scoped that after I looked at your notes. That single is absolutely disgusting. Keep a lookout for Thra. <laughs> And the only album that we have on July 11th, this is Putrinence, The Rot Within Us. This band hails back to the early 90s with their Finnish brand of death metal. Their 2020 album, Buried Incarnation, was pretty cool, so this should be nice. Yeah, I scoped a couple of songs from that record on Spotify, and I thought it was actually pretty awesome, and I'm big on death metal right now. Throw Finnish on top of it, I'm probably gonna like it. The snow for silence. Now we're getting to July 14th, Winterstorm Everfrost, the first of two major releases from AFM Records this month. Winterstorm is a monumental symphonic power metal band with a very loyal fan base. Likely you are one of them if you're watching. Yeah, you've been saying we need more power metal on the channel. We've been trying to embrace that more. Here you go, folks. <laughs> Caligram, Position Momentum. This is a sophomore release from the post-black hardcore lads from across the pond. Very eager to hear this one. It's going to be in your face for fans of Wolf King or Lion's Daughter, that kind of crossover stuff. Dude, that Wolf King record is one of my favorite, most underrated metal albums. If it's in that, I'm sign me up. I'm excited. Oh, 
Among Ruins, Land of the Black Sun, the third release from this Greek melodic death metal band. For the fans that can't get enough of the mellow death in their life, this is for you. It's cool to see the resurgence of mellow death. I'm all for it, man. Yeah. Bring it on. It's been on great, pretty much. Voyager, Fearless in Love, one of the handful of progressive records that I'm very eager to hear in July. Voyager is just an OG in the category, one of my more anticipated albums of the month and probably year. If you don't know this band, fix that because this is an up and coming, absolutely amazing progressive gent. I don't even know really what to call them. They're just an amazing band. Check them out. The keyboards are crazy. Vocals are crazy. Riffs are crazy. Awesome band. Ethereum at Storm's Edge, another Greek melodic death metal band. What's with the Greek melodic death metal bands? It's cool. They're really pressing the envelope. Their debut was back in 2017. It took a few years off. Hopefully they took some time and crafted something wonderful. More melodic death metal, man. Like I said, sign me up. <laughs> Evil, the unknown UK thrashers Evil are looking to infect your ears with their latest release, The Unknown. I don't know anything about it. It's all unknown. You and me both, man. I'm in the unknown club. <laughs> July 15th, Radiant Knife Pressure. This is the only album coming out on the 15th that we are aware of. This is a Louisiana-based band. They are dropping their sophomore release. Another sludgy record. I am personally eager to get my hands on. Can't get enough sludge, this guy. Ben loves the sludge. <laughs> Bring it on. In the 17th of July, Bloodbound, Tales from the North, the second of the major AFM releases from this month, Bloodbound. They are going into Viking territory now with their concept album. Very cool. I enjoyed 2021's Creatures of the Dark Realm. Very cool record. I will definitely be giving this one a spin after all the sludge records. I forgot about Creatures of the Dark Realm. That was a cool as hell album. I'm excited about this one. July 21st, Voivod Morgoth Tales. For those of us that can't get enough Voivod, which is the Forge, this band has revisited their 40 years. 40 years, dude. That's about how old we are of history since 1983. They've grabbed some select songs. They re-recorded them with their current lineup. The title track is going to be a brand new song. Fuck yeah, dude. Sign us up, man. <laughs> um, yeah, more Voivod's always a great thing. They've just been releasing banger after banger in their later half of their, not even half, in their later career. And I'm super stoked. Yep. Somnuri, Desiderium, the third album from this New York based sludge band. 2021 release Nefarious Wave. Totally forgot about it. It was very nice to see the album cover again. And I was like, oh yeah, that unlocked a memory of an album that I heard years ago. Really excited for this one for another dose of this sludgy goodness. I actually need to go back and scope this one. I remember you talking about that record. Ranak Conflagrations. These progressive death metalers from the UK are launching their third full length. If you love the chaotic dissonant prog death, be sure to scope this one and you might recognize the album art style. The Zenith Passage, Dadalysium, their 2016 debut album, Solipsist, blew us away. It's been several years, and now we finally get to behold the sophomore album from this tech death band. You love the tech death lately. You must be pumped for this. I'm super pumped. This band is fucking awesome. Solipsist was so good.
Mismore Prosiak. This one man Black and Doom act recently collaborated with Thou and dropped one of the fucking craziest doom metal albums of 2022. I probably should have put that on my best of list, but whatever. With Myopia, that album was amazing. Now he's back doing his own thing with this album. I'm pretty excited for this. Myopia was awesome, and Mismore is a great doom band. On the 23rd, we've got Vinsta with Freiweiten. Sure. A band that has been putting in some work over the last nine years or so. This will be their fourth full-length album. They've gone from neo-folk to progressive death metal, so that's a fun change. Not yeah. really a natural progression for most bands. <laughs> no. So, yeah, I'll check it out. Yeah. On the 24th, we've got Eternal Rot Moribound. This international death doom band has been one of the absolute highlights of the subgenre in recent years. They've only been doing EPs. Can't get enough death doom? Check them out. Definitely do. Mutoid Man Mutants. On the 28th, Kurt Ballou at Ghost City Music has had his hand in this one. Not really my cup of tea, but I'm sure the production's at least going to be spot on. I love Mutoid Man. This is one of the cool, like, underrated, interesting, creative metal bands that is active today. And also the Two Minutes to Late Night guy is one of the people. So, really sick band. And last but not least, Signs of the Swarm, Amongst the Low and Empty, a deathcore band getting released on Century Media. They've been around for a while. This is their fifth album. Deathcore fans rejoice. Really awesome deathcore band. I'm coming around on deathcore. Be disappointed <laughs> however you want. I'm excited. What are you looking forward to in July? Leave it down in the comments below. Check out some of our other videos right here. Go with the gods, Forge Mates. The Fen watches over you. <laughs>